welcome all of you in this orange city, the beautiful city of Maharashtra. The zero mile start from Nagpur. It's orange city. At the same time, it is tiger capital. Because from two and a half hour distance, we have 350 tigers. And that is to be the great attraction for the people in the world for Nagpur. Being a member of parliament is my duty to welcome you. But uh, I'm not a doctor. And that is the reason that I don't have too much knowledge about your science. Fortunately, I received seven deletes. But still I'm not using doctor. Because I feel that I'm not competent for that. Actually, my four deletes related with the agriculture science and three with the infrastructure. But particularly in your subject, I only understand the knowledge is very important. Two days before I was in Czechoslovakia and at that time we have one joint venture with the medical devices park in Vishakhapatnam with the three major industry in the world who are making dialysis machines. And he was telling me that by that they are going to reduce the cost by 50%, 60%. And that is to be very important for the country. Today, the innovation, entrepreneurship, science, technology, research, skill and successful practices. We name it as knowledge. And conversion of knowledge into wealth is the future. I always talking about the two terminologies. One is knowledge to wealth and other is west to wealth. No person is west, no material is west. It is dep depending upon the appropriate technology, appropriate vision of the leadership that you can convert west into wealth. Actually, we are very fortunate that the country has got the doctors like you. We have the highest reputation in USA and UK. Out of the 10 best doctors, 6 are Indians. It is really important for the country. The doctors in USA and UK, they are doing excellent jobs. Today we need to increase our medical colleges and at the same time, AIMS also. Actually from last many days, I always try to convince the health minister that how we can get more public-private investment into the field of medical science. Previously, we are only depending upon the government. But when I was minister in Maharashtra in 95-2000 regime, I got opportunity to construct Mumbai Pune Express Highway, Varli Bandra ceiling project and 55 flyovers in Mumbai. By taking public-private investment, that was successfully implemented. And today now medical colleges, even for paramedical courses, everywhere the economic viability is there. In every project we need four important things. One is proven technology, economic viability, availability of raw material and marketability of the finished product. Today, the running medical hospital is not a profitable business. But running medical college with the hospital is the most profit making it. <laughs> and today we at least we have we need 1000 more medical colleges in the country. But there is a problem with the doctors. We don't have that much doctors we have. So I suggest health minister that you increase the retirement date by 5 to 10 years. By which we will get the doctors for some time period. Not for permanent. Because immediately there are a lot of students going to Russia, Ukraine, everywhere. Yesterday in uh, Czechoslovakia, the, one of the MBC has appointed a doctor was with me. I just asked him that, where are you taken your degree? He was telling me he is from Ukraine. So now the problem is that there is a demand. And we need to increase the number of medical colleges and medical sciences. Institute of Medical Sciences like AIMS. We need more doctors, more paramedical courses, but at the same time we need to add 
qualitative approach in that. We don't want to dilute the education. We have to maintain the quality. And at the same time, we want to make it more for the people. Today, it is really a very, very economically viable industry. Why I am taking, talking it, taking it as an industry? Because when there is a lot of constant letter with the investment from the government, now it is the private sector can take the initiative and they can make the medical colleges, medical hospitals. In the in this medical science, particularly as for the research is concerned, we have tremendous potential. And for that reason, we need a innovative approach with the quality at the same time taking investment from the private public sector by which we can multiply the sector and that is the need of the country. I am really happy that with your research, with your innovation, you have a lot of experiments in AIMS. Actually, the AIMS is very touching to my heart because I was, I was taken special initiative to start this AIMS hospital in Nagpur. And that is the reason that we, we are very much keenly interested that how we can give the affordable medical treatment to the poor people. Today the problem is that it is very difficult for the poor people to take the medical treatment. The affordable medicine and affordable treatment is the need of the hour. I understand everywhere that no philosophy can be taught to empty stomach. So the financial interest is everywhere, but somewhere with the social consciousness, social responsibility and social awareness, we need to think on the line that we will get something, but at the same time our treatment should be affordable. I am really happy that today lot of potential in your field and the young talented people are doing excellent research. Their experience, their research is going to help people in the country. I am not the expert of this subject. when. The people coming to me to invite for this uh, conference, I was telling them that I am not the expert of your subject. But being a member of Parliament from Nagpur, it's my duty to welcome you all here in Nagpur. Once again, I am giving my best wishes to all of you and your futuristic research is going to helpful for the futuristic development in our country in the medical science. My all best wishes with you. Once again, I am welcoming all of you in Nagpur. Thank you.